Hi, this is the uh, high voltage generation, and then I'm going to test the water vapor uh, with the high voltage. And the high voltage is made from the battery, and uh, it's a high voltage generator. And this is the plus pole, and this is the minus pole connected here. And then this is the insulator layer. And then the water is mineral water. And uh, I have two nebulizers. One is battery mode, which is isolated from, from the ground. And the other one is so, so 24 volt load running from the power cable. And then uh, I have a field meter to see the the ion value in the in the air and the, in the object so this is calibrated with with the with the ground so the in the ground it will show zero zero value but because of the static field around so it has some field and I'm turning on the battery now, and I believe this is from the sound. It's a uh, some some kilohertz uh, flyback transformer is is generating. And if I if I see the high voltage, so this is making thirteen thirteen kilovolt plus, and then this is making minus. 5 kilovolt and then the insulator layer is affected by the plus pole so here is plus but if I approach minus then it's getting more minus which means it's kind of insulating so this is like that and then now I'm going to I'm going to uh, see the water vapor behavior and then for this purpose I need to make some setup here. So to measure the, the water vapor and then I'm putting some camera setup here and then this water vapor, which is independent from from the power cable, and I can even measure the value of the water vapor, which is a little bit incorrect, but it says it's a about one kilovolt, one kilovolt is a water vapor. Water vapor is known to be uh, mainly plus charged, but if I see the behavior with a pole, and this is a bit different. So water vapor shows that it's charged with a plus, but as I see, it's bending towards plus, which is it's attracting the 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 plus pole is attracting the water vapor, which is not reasonable. And then if I approach the minus pole, then it's actually rather weaker, but it's attracting. So if I see how the vapor is bending with the minus pole, yes, it's attracting. So this is really strange behavior. Plus pole attracted actually more strong. Here is a strong ion wind. And if I if I approach the 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 pole, yes, there is no repulsion. And then if I approach the minus pole. Yeah, it's weaker than plus, but it's, there is a traction. That's why the vapor is turning around the minus pole. That means water is reacting to both plus and minus, although it is charged with a plus pole. 
and then I'm gonna use the other nebulizer which, which is this one so it makes more vapor and then uh, if I read the the, the field uh, it says it's a bit a little bit higher voltage actually so and I'm gonna see how it reacts because the vapor is a bit wider uh, it's a bit hard to judge but anyway if I see from from the turning yes obviously it's turning and then if I go close then if it's gonna repulse then the vapor wouldn't stay like this it's gluing a little bit again yes it's turning so plus charge it water is attracted to the plus pole and then plus charge it water is actually not much attracted actually it feels like it's repelling it's repelling it's a little bit attracted part if I see the, the edge here a little bit something is attracting then if I go close then yes obviously the behavior is different if this is less attracting or repelling and this likes to stay longer there so this is again this is now attracting and then less attracting or repelling that's it